This is Holly Creek in Murray County, Georgia. Tucked away in the Chattahoochee National Forest, bordered by Cahuta Wilderness and protected by the Nature Conservancy. It's a near pristine water. It's stocked by forest and national fisheries for trout, and it's got rare aquatic species, flora and fauna. It's where we're gonna be going today. Holly Creek's name comes from the Native Americans of the area who saw holly grown along the course. A portion of Holly Creek near its source in the Cahuilla Wilderness runs through the Holly Creek Preserve under the protection of Nature Conservancy. The Conservancy site states that Holly Creek along with Dill Creek is a strong area for diverse and rare aquatic species whose health in turn affects the Conasauga. Both Holly Creek along with Dill Creek are important to the Conasauga watershed and the Conasauga River which it eventually flows into. It's a habitat for freshwater mussels and it is a cold water stream which is perfect for trout. It flows in a westerly direction through the Chattahoochee National Forest in Murray County, Georgia toward the Conasauga River and the Whitfield County line. We've pulled up to a spot on Holly Creek. We've never been here before. I'm hanging out with Kelly today. This is going to be micro fishing and I probably should be using something smaller than this. But right now I'm not going for a brightly colored head. I am going to be bottom bouncing this with a little piece of probably robo worm I'm thinking. So let me see what we can do. So I've got two fish under this rock here, and they have come out at just about everything that I've thrown. They've really only connected, and I almost got bit on this little Berkeley gulp. Actually, I think this is power bait. I've got some other stuff in here too, but just a little plastic. Just uh, getting happy with it. I'm kind of throwing over it and then just having it kind of fall down this little rock structure. And it's actually come out on this too and it's thinking about doing it again. It finally ate something, and I pulled it right out of its mouth. It likes it though. This is a good color. we go to to get flies out. <laughs>
for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. You got something? Is that a trout? Oh. oh, I saw it. That was a little bass. That was a little Kusa bass. Oh my gosh. So cool. I saw it. I know you had it. Oh, that was a pretty fish. That's awesome. Oh, what is that? Let's see your OG split shot, Kel. <laughs> Kelly got the old classic work working on it. <laughs> you got that worm and that split shot. Go get him, Kel. Get him. <laughs> you gotta go back. Sometimes you gotta go way, way back. Got it. Yay. You got the dang trout out of it. Yep. This is a rainbow trout. <sighs> you want to touch it? It's, it's smooth. It's so sticky. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let it go. There it goes. There it goes. Bye. 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 You have a lot of fishies. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. Got the micro light out. Pretty excited about using it. So this is a setup. I've had the rod forever and I just bought a very inexpensive $30 small lightweight spinning reel. It's not really even a brand name. I grabbed it off of Amazon. It boasts 13 ball bearings. It's a 13 plus one. I, I don't really see it having that sort of smoothness to it. But if it catches fish and I've got two or four pound tests, I am all for it. There we go. Decent fish. Better. There we go. Good fish, good fish.
pretty fish. Did you see that? paint all over my hands from last night's painting. <laughs> I'll take it. White is a good color. I've just got a little tiny curly tail grub on. Yeah. That's a nice little it's a nice little creek bow. Off she goes. So we got that on a size four, I want to say. Yeah, size four. Tiny little owner. And uh, absolutely hammered it. Got these, speaking of hammered, ha ha ha. Bob, one of my subscribers and clients who has won back-to-back -back AOYs sent me a care package of cool stuff that I should use for creek fishing and among that I'll pull it out in just a second among that were these little curly tail grubs from Hammer so very cool thank you so much and uh, I gotta figure out how this fish did not break my line but managed to unrig my drop shot couldn't do that again if I tried. This is what we're using. A little hammer curly tail grub. Exactly sure what the color is. Um, let's see. Blue pearl. Thank you, Bob. Thank <laughs> you. 